Uh, in that. Get in there, but I feel... I remember the level order. This is the... The Haunted House level. Yeah, Count Slobula's Castle. So let's do it to it! Oh! Straight into the Belfry of the Crypt. How do I get out of here? I've got to grab hold of Odie's mouth and then stand on top of this slowly raising pillar to get out. We are Count Slobula in the middle of a big haunted graveyard. We want to get from one end of the graveyard to the other. We want to get to the far right where, where Count Slobula's haunted mansion exists. And we, I, want, I was about to say we want to avoid falling into these holes because there's nothing we want in here. But we fell into the hole regardless. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, take that, bat. Feeling a little peckish? Then don't attack me. This is no night for frights. If you think you can eat me, bats, then you're going to have to learn what it means. Oh, we got... Oh, I was wrong. We have to go down to get past that tree. Let's use Odie to... to... I just... I'm getting hit all the time. And I don't feel like I'm... Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like it was. it's reasonable to avoid it. But I'm just being being a crotchety old man now. I wouldn't have thought thoughts like that as a child. I was just grateful to have a game to play. Oh, what? This is bad, though, seriously. So many cheap shots. What did that do? No, wait, get off of there, ghost! I still didn't. I still got hit with the ghost. I think that I'm going to get a game over. Get the Burger Garfield good. Get hit by the ghost, of course. Like kill. If you stand on the uh, standing on those those great railings there, actually hurts you as well. All right, now we're back to full health. Okay, that's good. Going to need it for the boss because I remember the boss of this level. I remember the boss of Count Slobula's castle. All right. I remember him. You're gonna see why. Oh, not nice try. You didn't hit me for once. Oh, oh, good. Oh, wait, the boss. The boss comes slowly, but as a puzzle boss. First, he's got predictably really cheap projectiles. Just like everything. Okay, he jumps. I hit him. He's supposed to do something after I hit him. Look at all these. Un Look at this. Alright. Da! There. Quickly get over there. That is what I had to do. Now Odie comes out of there. He probably hit me when he came out of the coffin. I didn't notice, but I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> this game sure loves to throw in the really erratically flying enemies, like these bats. I'm sure that they probably all share the same... the same algorithm. They're probably all programmed the same way. Which is great, it means that they're all going to be horrible. Oh, I managed to, I didn't get hurt, shockingly. This is crazy. Is that the end of it? Yeah, it is. Okay, can we get to the TV without dying? <laughs> yes, we can, man. I can't believe I've got them in one hit. Alright, okay. Now I think I've got the controls for this. What? Oh, I wasn't supposed to hit Irma? can't catch a break. Garfield can't catch a break. He's caught in the act. What is the act that he got caught in? In fact, why did they call this game caught in the act? Acts as in theatre acts and plays? You don't call TV shows acts. You don't say I'm going to watch an act on the TV. What's the first act of The Simpsons today? They don't say that. You want to avoid the coffee cups because if you hit the coffee cups you go, you go really fast like that and you just can't get the pookies. I think, I think I'm missing the trick with those bonus levels. I think you want to get the blue orbs that slow you down and avoid the coffee cups that make you go fast. I think that's the idea. Oh, I can't hit I can't hit anything in this. I forgot to mention, by the way, Count Slobula had a, a, co a cape on. A cope. He had a cape and Dracula stuff. He was using a torch like the villagers used to try and destroy Frankenstein. Revenge of Orangebeard the Pirate. I shivu Off the ship we get. Now, as a child, I took 
For some reason, I took this level as really exciting and interesting. I thought there was a big complex storyline behind this. Why was Garfield jumping off that ship? He must have been... must have been some big plot happened. He must have upset the pirates by stealing the, the sacred black treasure goat from the ship and mutinied. Now he's got to vengefully venge his way out of the ship. All these haunted pirate, all these skeleton pirates and other ships around them. I thought there was a big, big backstory to this, this level in a platform game. I don't know why. I just, for some reason, this one caught my fancy. This really, like, piqued my little child imagination. I think it was something to do with the, because I was thinking of the Halloween special, which I adored. I loved the Halloween special that I've got in video to this day. And I... I, well, I realised that the connection to this, the skeleton ghosts, well, they're just skeletons in this, they don't appear to be ghosts. Garfield's got his Orange Beard the Pirate hat on, and he's even called himself Orange Beard, Revenge of Orange Beard. So it's, it's like this is the sequel to Orange Beard the Pirate. I like how if you fall off the boat, then you just fall into the ocean and get hurt, but you, then you've got to walk back to the boat again. This, the ocean's clearly not very deep. <laughs> I don't know who set up all of these thrusters coming out of the walls that exist in the ocean, but they do. Someone put the trouble to put them there. Maybe they're just natural phenomena. It's just a beauty mark of the area. There's got to be something at the end of that, but whatever it was, I didn't get it. It was too bad to get that. That's the chicken toasted. How about some monkeyage? Hey. No more monkeying around, buddy. Not where you're going. To the great big lasagna box in the sky. Where there shall be no lasagna for you. Because I already ate all of it. The last time I died and came back to life. The boat control. Oh, there's fire coming out of the grass under our feet. Or paws. Now we've made it to the special island. <laughs> oh yeah, if you bounce on these. That's right, I remember. It takes you up here. Now the goal of this level, in between well, aside from just not being hit by the cheap hitting cheap things, is to get to the top of all of these trees. Oh, no, you don't. Damn, I mean, again. Because you're a skeleton. we got to get to the very top of the treetops. Oh, come on, Garfield. Come on, Garfield. Don't be a weenie. I want to, I want to take a break for a second and pause the game. But if I do that, then a rooster will just fly it out of nowhere and wreck me again. I just got to keep going. Eat that rooster. It's a devil rooster. He's got evil teeth. Hua! The mighty Garfield will not be defeated by a monkey such as you. Die. Die again. A slice of pizza! Oh, really, really cute. Real sweet. Cute. Real cute. Nice job. Are you normal? Normal the skeleton. Normal for the last time. Beauty is not manly. Desist from being beautiful, or die. Okay, that monkey is going to mess with me. Well, we made it past him. Ouch. When you're as manly as me, you simply need to say the word ouch to express pain because I don't feel any actual distress. Well, we jumped, we fell down one slot, so just like that graveyard level in Bart vs. the World of the Nintendo, we have to make our way all the way back up again, and again we gotta do that, because I just did it once more. Well, at least the monkeys appear to stay dead. The roosters are a different matter. I'd like to get that burger, but... 
Right, we've been going down. I'm, I'm dealing with these roosters. Roosters aren't killing me. I think those roosters show up every 20 seconds or something. Oh, no, the monkey's back. I thought that... Oh, I didn't kill him, that's why. Yeah, now he's killed. Well, we're on death's door, but we did we did get a checkpoint. Oh, that's nice. I killed the monkey, but then he killed me. Well, he hurt me before he was completely dead. He wasn't quite dead enough. He wasn't quite dead enough for the game's satisfaction. What? Oh, whatever, just go along there. What's What am I jumping into? Oh, I think I just remembered something about this level. You got there's a really you got to end it in a really stupid way. Now how do I get that? I guess I don't. Those balls will go nicely in the cannons that uh, Garfield the pirate is going to fire. There she blow. There she blows. Batten down the hatches, matey. Yogi! Yeah. He grows his hat back, right. Yeah, that's right. In this level, you have to get to the top of the trees and then jump down to the very bottom again, which causes you to land in this this nether world of heckish caves. How did this happen? It just did. You just gotta deal with it. Garfield! Caught in the act, the act of being an un the act of being a confusing game that doesn't really make much sense. Okay, I think I'm gonna stand there and take my precious break. Break taken, breaking. Let's go. So I've reached the end of the level. Who is the boss? Time to find out. It's just a large version of one of those skeletons. <laughs> when you hit it, the game forces you back for a bit, just, just to like a, <laughs> a extremely artificial way to make the game a little harder. Oh, you can't just stand there and whack him. You got to well, push you back slightly, so you got to walk forward for another half second. All right, don't kill Irma then. Irma's the first thing out, no. So who do I have to hit and not hit? Not Irma, at least. It's probably. What? I think I... Did it say who not to hit? I think it might have said who not to hit. I just wasn't paying attention. I don't even know what you get for those. I think you get the passwords. Okay, now then. Let's get the slow blue ball. Let's get the blue ball. The blue balls to slow us down. Avoid the coffee cups. Alright, that's good. That's good. Good start. Nope. Not coffee. No coffee. I don't even like coffee, so... This is all natural to me. This is just... I'm just doing what my instincts tell me to. No, not the- no! Oh, thank goodness, I counteracted the coffee! Oh, I see, that's- I get it, the exit there. That- That still wasn't enough cookies, man! What a cruel- what a harsh mistress. But at least I had the right idea. Now where are we going? Down? Along? Left? Up, around, and uh, is this branching paths? Do I get to choose my level? No, no. I think it's a linear structure. Although oddly, depending on which version of this game you're playing, you'll end up in different levels, in different orders rather. You know, it's the same set of levels, but you get them in a different order. This PC version has a different order of levels to say the Sega Genesis version. In that version, I believe the I think the Count Slobula level was first, which is a highly questionable choice if you ask me, because that boss, the Ori boss, I mean, I beat him in one life, but I remember as a child trying for quite some time until I realised you had to jump on top of his coffin, and then that gives you a slight elevation to jump up and grab one of the the curtain... curtain curtainers. Also, what just happened there? Cat Sublanca. Excellent pun. Claws for the memories. The Santa Claus, where the claws in Santa Claus is spelt like the cat's claws. 
Okay, Casablanca is some kind of maze based on an old black and white movie that I've never seen. Which is a classic, but it's probably terrible. Because it's old. That's how it goes. You all know it. Everyone just keeps denying it. And if we go left, there's a dog behind the fence, but what on earth? Did I just fall through the really, that tiny black dot on the ground? Was that a manhole? Let's find out. Yeah, that. Okay, it was alright, so it wasn't a tiny black dot. It was actually very reasonable, but I didn't notice it. Okay, the door that to that 1940s suburban white picket fence, leave it to Beaver House, leads straight into the sewers. As you do. Man, these doors are picky. Did you see that? I had to walk back and forwards to get in there. Alright, I've do dodged that manhole. Getting all the, uh, the Mr. Wilson's throwing... throwing the stuff at us. Maybe this is a, maybe this is based on the, on Garfield singing, Garfield sings on that fence. Maybe it's based on Garfield singing on that fence that he does sometimes, caterwauling. I still don't know if they made that up. No, that was not. No, that just takes us there. Ah, we can jump on the fence. This is a pretty obtuse game in some ways. Oh, brother. Like, some of the stuff you're supposed to know to do is just... Not clear. Huh? What on earth? It's one of those mazes where going in the door you just came out of can take you to a completely different place from where you just came from. Did this just take us back to the start of this bit? I'm gonna lose a life. I'd have made no progress. Can we get up there? No, can't even. That's a dog that kills us, yeah. I'm trapped in the TV. What's a cat to do? Time to take out the trash. I should have saved that pizza, because I'll be back here, I'm sure. What's over here? You'd think there'd be something good over here, wouldn't you? All the effort it took us to be a dog in that. But there wasn't. What's the throwable thing here? A can of soup? Just a, just a can. Okay. What, what happens if we go back in there? Yeah, I figured we'd go somewhere new. Except it's just this place again. Can we, like, do something with this? Can we jump on top of that? That, whatever it is called? Yeah, we can. The cactus. You don't know that cactus is hurting me. Would you have guessed that that thing would do anything? Oh, Mr. Wilson, stop not being dead. Jeez Louise. Can we even get past the stupid cactus? I don't care if I'm getting hit, just get me past the cactus. There's nothing. There's nothing up there anyway. I think this is. What's Mr. Wilson saying? Hip! 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 Mr. Wilson's classic line from American Dennis the Menace. Hip! Hip! <laughs> this is the CD version. So maybe they added that line in. Oh, it's Odie. Odie will save me. Okay, I didn't notice that the first time somehow. Alright, let's not fail this. There we go. I thought that bird stole the hamburger for a minute. Right, so I, I just feel... I feel as though there's just going to be a bottomless pit just... Like, I felt when I was walking along this ceiling here that I was just going to fall down for no reason. And I've got a feeling that I would have fallen down if I hadn't just walked past that, but it doesn't matter anyway because there's nothing here. This is one time I would have actually liked to have fallen down. Alright, let's go in here. I thought this was a fall down. Oh, no, it was, oh silly me, of course, it was this that makes you fall down. And straight into the place we don't want to be. So that got us nowhere. In the maze of... Where's Casablanca set? I mean, obviously it's going to be New York, but I don't know for sure. Oh, we're going down to the back of the fence. I've got to hand it to this game. It's so, like, intricate. All these roots and things. All these little areas we're exploring. It's great. It's good. Going round the backs of these houses, going through the sewers, onto the roof. We've been up there already, it's pointless. 
Yeah, I think we need to get to the right of this level. And the sewer system is going to take us there. Let's go in here. Get that pizza, good. Where's this go? Back to that first house, I think. No. That took us somewhere we didn't want to be. Except that this... <laughs> we'll find our way. Nope, it's a dog. And so was that. Nope. Um, okay, not that. I think it was this one. No, it wasn't. No, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Casablanca. Okay. <laughs> they put that right in front of you. So, the far right door. Maybe this is where we want to go. Good, we're on the far right side of the level. Uh-oh. What? Okay. I'm thinking this will be good. Wait a minute. Hang on. Well, uh, what's in here? Wait, that's where we came out of earlier. I think we maybe want to get onto the roof at this point. No! Huh? Let's try jumping over the fence, over there. Yep. We're onto something. Uh, cactuses everywhere. What am I missing? Aside from a brain, what am I missing? Oh, brother. Nope. Uh. I heard Mr. Wilson. Yeah, Mr. Wilson slammed Garfield. The death of Garfield at the hands of Mr. Wilson. Still, we made progress. I think we were where we wanted to be there. Yeah. I think we were where we wanted to be. Or maybe we won't. Maybe we won't. Let's look at this one. Hmm. Nope, not that. Not falling for that. In there. In there, Garfield. Get in that. Come on. Off you get. Yeah! Oh, this is a new bit. This is the... Far, no, it's not the far right. I think this is the far right of the level. Okay, so we go inside this and then go inside this. Is this the start of the level again? I think this is the start. Yeah, it is. Alright. Just tiptoe into that bin. Uh, actually, let's try it. Wait. I there was something in there. Okay, so this takes us to here. Right, let's try... 
Try this. And it's the very start of the level. You've got to be bang on with that dog. Okay, so the far right door here. And then the... Uh, into... Wait. Am I going the right way? <laughs> I love these bins. You've got to have... You've got to be... Hit them immediately at the first opportunity before the dog comes out of that thing, or else it just gets you. Alright, so, what we want to do is get up here, hit Mr. Wilson, that's it, go down there, get hit with the dog, inevitably, and now we're here. Okay, now. Now, we go through here, and then we come back, go through the door we just came out of. Has that done something? Ah, just what I needed! Good work, Garfield. Good work getting savaged by that dog. Alright. Garfield's doing his happy tap dance. And we are... We're back where we came from. Okay, so I think that whole sewer trip didn't need to happen there. Oh, Odie! That's funny, I didn't notice him there before. Is this where we want to be? I'd be surprised if it's not. I'm expecting to see the... Well, I didn't see the exit, but I do see Pookie. What's that sound? Uh, what's that sound? Uh! Whoa! Well, you got to follow it along with itself. Whatever, get the exit. <laughs> I got the life, that's what matters. 